Hello everyone. Welcome to the mini reads from the holiday special. Those of you that won mini reads. Um, I ask those of you that won mini reads to please bookmark the mini reads because in a few days I'm going to move them to unlisted just to keep your information private. Okay. So please make sure you bookmark it. And if you could let me know you bookmarked it, that'd be great. Then I'll know when I can move it to unlisted. All right. So we have a whole bunch of you. Let me see how many are we doing. So we have Toss, which is from last week. And then from last night, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of you. 15 of you from last night. So we're gonna do those here in a little bit. First off though, I have a special reading for a five-year-old little girl whose birthday is today. And so I am saying happy birthday to that dear one. And we are gonna use our Alice in Wonderland deck and see what kind of beautiful message we will have for this five-year-old. And then we'll get to test. <laughs> All right. So to the one who sent me email with your question, that also mentioned your five-year-old's birthday. This is for your five-year-old. If you choose to show them, you don't have to, though. Know. All right. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> so, I love it. It's a birthday, right? And what do we have? Celebration, happy birthday. A beautiful time with your mom. Beautiful time celebrating your birthday, which is fantastic. Ooh, let's see, where shall I start? So, we have some things that are showing up that look absolutely beautiful. So I see a time in which you are going to be waiting for something beautiful to happen. During this time, you're very likely going to be painting or doing, as we see the little painter here, painter, painting, or doing some sort of creative work. Um, you could be working on a puzzle, you could be doing painting, you could be playing a video game, something of that nature. Um, something fun, something that will pass the time, which is beautiful. Then we see this beautiful rabbit showing up with this great big old coin there. And this particular rabbit is saying, we've got some good news that's coming to you very, very soon. And it looks like it's not just one piece of news, but it could be several pieces of news coming along because we see that the rabbit had a lot of sandwiches. So he was going on a big long journey and he was protecting this wonderful thing from you. I think this could be a gift that may be arriving. Maybe it's a birthday gift. It could be a holiday gift, something like that. And with this beautiful Wheel of Fortune, I see that you're gonna be super excited about this. This is beautiful, it's wonderful. There's a fantastic time moving forward. Um, so a lot of really good things are coming up. Now, interesting, so we have this particular card right here, and this card tells me that you and your mom are about to make some sort of change. So maybe you guys are gonna be rearranging some furniture in your room, or you could be, um, could be taking a look at your toys, things of that nature, trying to figure out you know, which toys you want to keep, where do you want to move things, where do you want to, um, what's going to make you the most happy, but it looks like you have an absolutely positively beautiful birthday coming up. Absolutely amazing. So happy birthday, my dear. Happy birthday. All right. And we are going to get rolling. First question, Miss J, what are the person's true intentions towards you. Names of additional people that you guys note will not be noted. 
Please let me know down below once you have bookmarked the page, because as soon as all of you that received readings have bookmarked the page so you can get back to it, I'm gonna move it to unlisted. So just so you guys know, all right? All right. All right, spirit. True intentions of this person towards Miss J, please. True intentions of this person towards Miss J. So far we've got the Ten of Coins, the Eight of Swords, the King of Cups. Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands, Death, Ace of Cups. All right, all right, my dear. All right, Miss J, we got it. We got kind of a rough one. I hope you're ready. <laughs> I hope you're ready because it looks a little bit tough, okay? Um, so, overall energy we have is the Devil card. The Devil card could indicate just very simply passion. This person is passionately desirous of you, right? Um, this could also be a toxic energy in this particular, um, from this particular standpoint. I feel mostly that what we're seeing is we're seeing the passionate energy, right? The passionate energy of the devil. That this particular person that you asked about has this, you know, chemistry with you and this desire to, um, to, to, to come forward in a very, um, romantic and lustful way, right? Salacious. Remember the salacious came up. <laughs> salacious came up in our in our trivia last night, right? So I feel like this person has a strong uh, passionate desire for you. Now, we have some we have some concerns. And so I need to note because I don't know this person's um primary situation i'm going to give you two possibilities from the cards that i see okay first of all i do see with the ace of cups that there's this desire with both the ace of cups and the ace of wands to start something new so my concern is well is this something new with you or is it with someone else so i have to note if your person is not currently in a long-term relationship not currently married or not currently separated, then you know it's it's possible that this person may only be looking for a little bit of fun and then may be on their way. So that's unfortunate that that comes up, but that is what I'm seeing here. I've got three cards of walking away. If, however, your person is married or separated or in a long-term committed relationship, but they also seem to have some sort of um, connection to you in some way. And there's no judgment here from Kimmy on that, okay? We have a ton of coins that would indicate that this person is involved with someone else. There's a sense of fear here with this eight of, eight of swords, which is what we often see, right? Fear, fear, fears of our own making. And what's the fear of? The fear is of expressing themselves, expressing how they're truly feeling getting in touch with their emotions, like really actually facing the fact that perhaps this person has some feelings that are beginning for you, right? Or has some feelings that have never been expressed. But then we get the yucky cards. If this person is in a relationship, I feel that they're trying to work their way out of it with the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Death card. It looks like they're wanting to work their way out of this situation. If this person is not in a long-term relationship, they may be making their way away from you towards something new. So it's real important to note that. Um, regardless, I see a very strong passionate energy. This person is being led by their physical desire for you. Does that mean that they cannot fully, you know, come to a point of deep love and affection? No, that does not mean that because we do have the King of Cups here. They may already have that deep love and affection for you, but they're still being led by their uh, their passion for you right now. So uh, that's what I'm seeing. Like I said, because I can't talk to you directly, I'm not sure 
if this person is involved with someone else, the cards would suggest that they are though, and that they're heading towards a new beginning with you, but it seems to be related to desire. So, as we're always saying to Lou, get another pair of heels. <laughs> get, a, get a pretty pair of heels and make sure you're looking good, smelling good, cleaned up, all that wonderful stuff. And, uh, you know, that, that will seem to help. <laughs> all right, my dear, love and light to you, Miss J. Happy holidays, darling. All right, test, 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 test. All right, so we're first going to look at the question from last week, the work question. cups in the reverse the towers that's yeah that's what I was feeling from that card okay okay queen of cups this person is wounded this person is wounded and it has nothing to do with their job unfortunately it's coming out through their job so um Tess you and I have this habit of attracting <laughs> attracted wounded people in our life, right? Because we're natural healers. Um, and oftentimes, you know, just, just being around us can be healing to them, but it can suck our energy dry to the point where we're struggling and, and feeling an overall sense of overwhelm, right? And so I, I think that that's what we have happening with your person. So we have the two of coins, faith, the five of cups and the six of swords. So I wanted to look at what's going on with them first, because oftentimes that leaks into work, right? We also have the three of wands strength, three of cups in the reverse, the tower and the queen of cups. Now let me note, I feel that this particular person, although they, they seem to have gone through some either a major breakup or they feel massively disconnected from somebody and they haven't opened up and told you. Now, in this particular case, it's not for you to try to figure out, right? I mean, you're at work. <laughs> you're not in, you're not in a, a healing modality in that, that space. You just have to, you know, do your work. But there may be a way that you can work with this person and um, help them along without, without them realizing you're kind of helping them along. Um, and I do not consider that to be a um, violation of ethics because it's more of a way of just trying to trying to help them to find a sense of happiness in their life, right? Trying to bring about peace in their life without doing any formal kind of healing work. All right. Sometimes it's just through talking, right? They need somebody to... Ooh, See, and then here's, this is so interesting. Um, all right, so I do feel that this person, um, this person feels, a, they absolutely positively feel a sense of being threatened by you. But here's the interesting part. <laughs> so let's, let's talk very, very, very quickly about the king and the queen of wands, right? When the king and queen of wands are working together from a work perspective, good grief, get out of their way. They are going to accomplish great things. They are going to be seen in, in this light of success and amazing accomplishments. Well, unfortunately, the, the two also can compete a lot, right? They can compete a lot because they're two very powerful individuals. And so I believe that you and this person are showing up as these two very powerful individuals. Now, um, as two very powerful individuals, you have to find a way to work together, right? There's a little bit of fear of whether or not that's going to be possible. And perhaps that's fear on your part and their part. Because they keep showing you a little bit of the same up and down, up and down, up and down energy. 
And we have this negative energy here of the Knight of Cups in reverse with the, you know, negative, negative comments, negative, um, negative expression. And yet the hangman is saying, we well, got to figure out what in the heck to do about this, right? And I, I really feel that spirit is calling you to find a way to bring harmony between the two of you, um, but to bring harmony in a way that doesn't involve the healing, right? So we have the judgment card. Judgment card is about forgiveness and atonement, right? So first, your forgiveness of this person for treating you the way they're treating you. Um, second, you know, trying to find a way to meet in the middle. If this person is going through a really rough time on the outside and it's affecting their work, and they're also feeling threatened by this powerful energy of yours, Perhaps maybe what they need the most is a sense of inspiration, right? A sense of creative inspiration and tapping into their creative side and their creative ideas and, you know, finding a way for the two of you to kind of work together with a meeting of the minds and those creative ideas may be just exactly what you need to find that, that middle ground to be able to work with this person and reduce any kind of stress and strain and difficulties that you may be um, experiencing as a result of seeing, look at that, Knight of Wands, action, Eight of Cups, Eight of Coins. I really feel like it's, I, I feel like the whole key to working with this person is going to be um, playing to their hubris, <laughs> you know? Focusing on their hubris a little bit. Consider it, uh, you know, like the Leo lion that needs its mane stroked in order to be able to move forward. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. I think you'll be fine if you do that. All right. Let's see. First quarter, on first quarter 2021 Who? <laughs> Queen of Wands went flying off the off the uh <laughs> off the board there for a second. Okay, well, you're not supposed to focus on something new. <laughs> I'll show you, hold on, hold on. What should she focus on for first quarter, please? 2021. Wow, all right. Okay, so first of all, Obviously, you know that, that this is a Pisces card and you are a Pisces. So, uh, you know, maybe maybe uh, not focus so much on the act of accomplishing something, but um, more focus on, on the aspect of the Queen of Wands of just feeling comfortable and stable in your current location, your current space, your current job, things of that nature. I don't feel with the Empress in reverse, I don't think you should be focusing on trying to find a new job or trying to find something new right now. Just kind of sit it out, right? Same goes on the romantic front. Don't be focused on that. Just focus on which you tend to, you tend to be more level-headed um, about that than most of us Pisces. <laughs> the rest of us po Pisces get like so focused on love, right? And so I, I think, you know, if you just kind of take a pause where you're at, that's gonna be really important. One of the things that um, there's a focus on communication with is the Eight of Wands. And obviously this could be, maybe you're feeling a sense of, you know, finding a way to communicate with others in a, in a loving and gentle manner, right? Maybe it's a way of, of communicating with a group of people, something of that nature. Um, speaking before others, right? You know, gaining that sense of confidence to speak before others. Something associated with 
the verbal word with the eight of wands there. And that also is like, you know, speaking loving words to yourself, you know, stick your affirmations up on your, up on your mirror, things of that nature, speaking loving words to yourself as well. And then with the eight of coins, well, work. <laughs> Do I need to like go into that one? It's work, you know, <laughs> work, perfecting something, maybe perfecting something that you're feeling led towards. Now I love this because we have the high priestess and the king of coins. And that's where I feel like, you know, it's all about, with the king of coins, it's all about persistence and perseverance to get to where he wants to go, right? That sense of, of, of clearly, you know, not giving up, going forward, continuing to, to you know, charge onward. But it's, it's that persistence to getting to that sense of stability. So, it looks like spirits like very focused on stability and persistence of achieving that as well as tapping into your intuitive side with that high priestess card um you also have something that you have been stuck but unable to move past with the two of swords and the seven of cups Whatever this is that you've not been able to figure out how to move forward or what to do about, I still feel like Spirit is saying just rest right now because it's all going to come to you in due time. So there's there's something that's been weighing on your heart or on your mind and just rest on that. Don't put any pressure on yourself to uh, figure out your way forward at present. All right, let me also get another card for you. And then next up is Quillen. First quarter 2021 for Tuss, please. <laughs> All right. Don't you don't you shoot the messenger test. <laughs> Seriously. All right. So, first quarter 2021, they are, they're saying be of service. <laughs> you're already doing that, but apparently you're gonna be doing that more. And there's a focus on color. It says the wonder of color, the vibration of colors. Um, doesn't really give any other context to it, but it's, it's speaking of color and vibration. So there may be some significance to color moving forward. Uh, just keep that in mind. All right. Love and light to you, Tess. Happy holidays, my dear. And curcumin. High doses of curcumin. It helps me a lot. <laughs> so maybe it'll be good for you. All right. Quillen, Quillen, Quillen. I got your email, so we're gonna take a couple different cards for you. Let me put these other cards back in the deck, and we'll get right on that. All right. So, happy birthday to the little one. <laughs> I wish I could have gotten this done earlier for you, but unfortunately I could not. So, by the time you get this, the birthday will be almost over. So let's see what's going on. See what's coming up for the two of you. If you have to deal with a parental other um, I'm getting a message here notice notice the evil queen is like kind of like off with their head kind of thing you know you go there you go here 
there's just this, there's this over, overwhelming energy surrounding you, it looks like. And I'm not sure who that might be, but... You got somebody you gotta watch out for. So let me just note that. Now it could be you putting your foot down with somebody. Um, be before, you know, we I had some cards, I had some cards for the little one, very beginning. So if you did not see that, they're at the very beginning. Um, oddly, we got uh, the same card now as I got then, and that is the uh, Seven of Pentacles. And so with the seven of pentacles, it's an energy of, um, you know, it's an energy of waiting for something. So you are waiting for something, but we have a, we have a, a card there with a paintbrush, you know, trying to paint a beautiful picture, trying to put hard work and effort in, but not seeing any, any movement as a result of that. Now I have to note that we have two very different opposing cards. We have the lovers and we have the devil. Two extremely different cards. And they're they're like polar opposites. You know, one is that that energy of struggle and strife and internal struggles. And the other is that that um, energy of of love and, and connection and things of that nature. And this could be within you, Quillen, it could be uh, a, a kind of like a uh, a two forces of, of will within you, right? It's kind of like, I want to go in this direction because this direction makes me feel happy. This direction makes me feel wonderful. But yeah, if I go in that direction, I could also run into these difficult situations, right? So there seems to be a new beginning coming up for you, but it's not without trial, unfortunately, my dear. Um, so we have the... We have the Queen of Swords and the Two of Cups. Now we also have the Lovers and we have the Devil. And the normal Devil card shows two people bound. And then the Lovers card is like, you know, it's the same vision, but just in a lighter way. You know, it's in this garden, it's real beautiful, all those wonderful things. So it may be that you're having to get clear on your connection with another individual, whether it's your connection with a romantic partner you know, whether it's your connection with, you know, another parental unit or your connection with a family member or your connection with a friend or even a business partnership as well could be, you know, shown in those two cards. But there is a focus on connection between you and another individual. And that focus is very strong because we have the two of cups, because we have the lovers, because we have the devil. We also have the Five of Cups. So we have this, it's as if somebody's walked away from you, my dear. With the Five of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. It's as if somebody has walked away from you or you've walked away from someone else. And there's this overall feeling that you're just, you're not seeing the movement you'd hoped to see, right? And here's the struggle. Now, if the struggle has not yet occurred, you need to be prepared for it. How do you be prepared for something like that? You don't be blown by it, blown away by it. You go with the flow, you work on yourself, you work on your own healing, and you try your best to overcome it. Now, I see with the Queen of Wands, you're going to be gaining a sense of strength, a sense of confidence as you move forward. But right now, there's a focus on that which has been lost. And so the focus on that which has been lost seems to, um, it's going to cause you some fears and lost sleep. Okay. Okay, and oh, it, maybe you're dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate. We do have the Emperor. So we have the High Priestess, the Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Emperor. There's something that you're considering letting go of, giving up on, releasing from your life. And perhaps this is you releasing something, right? Releasing some sort of person or difficulty. 
with this emperor, I believe you're going to be able to get back on your feet no matter what's been going on, right? As long as you map things out, plan things out, and focus on the future and how to get to where you want to go and take a baby step every so often, right? You've got to keep moving forward. The high priestess tells me that there's some sort of intuitive guidance that you have received, but I don't believe you're following it yet. So maybe you think you are, maybe sometimes you feel like you are, but spirit is highlighting. If you want that sense of peace, you want that sense of, you know, getting control of the situation and feeling pretty strong and confident, you're gonna have to trust, trust your inner guidance and trust their guidance too. Um, I like seeing the Emperor as your final card because that does tell me that all of the difficulties that I'm seeing in these other cards, you're going to be able to overcome. So I hope that helps. I wish you well. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Love and light to you, my dear. And I shall see you again soon. All right. Gina. Gina, Gina, Gina. We're looking at a Cancer. Cancer. Well, you too got the Devil card, just like, just like Quillen did. All right. But don't get into your Scorpio head about that. <laughs> devil cards, devil cards, okay. It's not always, it's not always bad. It just may be that you need to release some sort of um, emotional wound. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. For some reason, I'm, I'm okay. So for some reason, I'm, I'm getting an energy of just kind of being so-so about this person. Okay, uh, like they're just not. They don't. It's it's this particular person is not overwhelmingly exciting to you. We do have the devil. We have the temperance card, and we have the knight of pentacles. You know, there's very likely passion between the two of you. There's a chemistry between the two of you. They're probably very attractive to you. But yet with that temperance card, they seem to be causing you a sense of stress and strain. They seem to be causing you a sense of um, not, not really knowing where things are going, right? And that seems to be causing the stress and strain. Maybe you see them one day. You're, maybe one day you're getting the devil energy and another day you're getting this you know, oh, let's let's fix this, let's move forward, right? Maybe you're getting kind of like a back and forth kind of energy from this person. But forward movement with this person seems to cause you a little bit of stress, a little bit of strain. It's kind of like, it would be nice if it moved forward, but yeah, I feel like you're like, yeah, yeah, let's move kind of slow because I already know what I want and I'm not sure if it happens to be right in front of me. Um, I think you're gonna take a break from this person. Um, with the Four of Swords and the Six of Wands, I feel like you're gonna take a little break from this person, but it's not gonna be because they wanna take a break. It's because you do. And so, let's see what's coming next. I think, I, I really feel like um, this person just, uh, they, yeah, it's like, it's like you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. See, look, like Justice card in reverse, Ace of Coins, Five of Cups, King of Wands. Um, it's like this person, you just go back and forth with this person. There doesn't seem to be stability here. Um, you know, I do believe with this Queen of Swords, you're gonna you're gonna figure out exactly what you want. But I think this person is causing you a sense of kind of um, inner uh, a feeling of discomfort. 
the feeling of discomfort because you, you just, you're getting a different kind of energy from this person uh, at different times, right? Like there's no consistency. And here, once again, like I'm getting five, five of coins, six of coins. It's like sometimes they're here, sometimes they're not. Nine of wands, same old thing. I don't think neither you nor this person um, really know exactly what's going to happen next. Um, I do feel, I feel you are going to walk away from this. So I, I'm not really feeling like you're going to stick this person out. Uh, but I do see, you know, there's a sense for you. There's also a sense, well, you know, if I let this person go, then what? Right? If I let this person go, then what comes next? And so I just don't think you're going to give this person too much of the time of day. They're just too wishy-washy for you. Um, I do see with this Queen of Swords that, you know, you're going to get very clear on it. But they seem to be too wishy-washy. And they're not giving me clear direction as to what they want either. Uh, because it's it's going back and forth and back and forth. So maybe give this connection a little bit more time to kind of level out the energy without this up, down, up, down kind of thing going on. Um, and then see how you feel about it. But definitely take things kind of slow because I think that in that sense of slowness, you are going to be able to feel that sense of success regardless of what decision you make with this person. But I think it's in your hands, honey. You're gonna be like, yeah, I don't know. You're back and forth. So guard your energy, protect your energy, and um, just give it some more space and time until this person figures out what they want because they don't know either, okay? Love and light to you, my dear. Happy holidays. Mina. The twin. Mina and the twin. All right. Mina and the twin. Let's see. What's next for the twin? Mina and the twin, please. Ooh. <laughs> this is looking good. <laughs> looking good, my dear. Looking good, looking good, looking good. of the love between the two of you. Fantabulous, the Kimmy word. <laughs> fantabulous, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Absolutely amazing. So we have somebody taking action to communicate. They're coming forward very soon. It's definitely, it's an energy. They're feeling that pull, they're feeling that draw to communicate with you. Look at this, this is so beautiful. Six of Cups and the Lovers. They're thinking about you. They can't get you off their minds. They're wanting to make a decision to be close to you. Like they want to be in your presence. They want to, they want to hold you. They want to kiss you. They want to be around you. You know, there's that beautiful energy of connection. So I like that. Now, here's their hold up. <laughs> We're going to take some cards on that. They don't know what to do. <laughs> So maybe something bad has happened between the two of you in the past and they're a little bit afraid to come forward. That's possible. Um, but ultimately with the nine of cups, you are their wish, you are their dream, that you are their hope. They do have love for you, whether they've expressed it or not. All right, tell me about this hanging man, please. <laughs> the star. So not only do we have one wish, we have two. Um, it's possible that, you know, your twin's going, well, it has enough time passed to where there's healing and this person, oh my goodness, 
to where there's enough time uh, healing. Wow, wow, wow. In order to move forward, right? In other words, will Mina accept me coming back kind of thing. King of Wands, yeah, like they're they're coming in hot, hot and heavy. So interesting. The surprise, the surprise tower that, that they have received is that they know exactly what they want now. This person knows exactly what they want. And with that nine of cups, they're very clear on that. They want you. But right now it looks like they're waiting to make sure that enough time has passed, that they are going to be accepted. Look at that, four of wands immediately after that and the chariot, yeah, they're coming. Now with twins, spirit normally doesn't give me timing, but let's see what we can find out. Um, the reason they don't give me timing is because, you know, twin twin connections can go through, um, can go through um, a major change, right? So we have the ace of coins and the seven of coins on timing. The seven of coins is May. The Ace of Coins could be as early as tomorrow. Sorry about that, Mina. I got a phone call from Tank. I forgot to go and do not disturb. So Seven of Coins would be in May, May 11th to May 20th. And then the Ace of Coins could be the, the time frame of Capricorn or the time. All right, sorry about that, Mina. I'm gonna have to pause after you to go talk to my son. He called back a second time. So, but notice this. This is also the time of Taurus, the time of Taurus. So it's three cards indicating the time of Taurus. So it may be as late as May. It may be as late as May when this person finally goes, okay, I think enough time has passed, enough healing has occurred that now I can come forward. Now, you know, you can speed up this time by doing some energy work, absolutely positively. Um, you could definitely speed up this time by, by focusing on, you know, doing your own inner work in order to move forward. But what you're feeling is absolutely positively accurate. I do see that he's trying to come back. So good luck to you. Love and light to you, Mina. Bye-bye. All right. Sorry about the, the brief break due to a phone call. Sorry about that. All right. So we have Francisco. What is coming towards you in love for 2021? Let's find out. All right. What is coming towards Francisco regarding love in 2021? Oh, wow. Wow! <laughs> wow! Okay, that looks good. That looks good. <laughs> One more, please. One more. All right. I love it. All right, first we gotta get through the difficult energy leading into 2021, okay? Because we have an ending here. Now this ending could have happened any time in the past. This could have been in the last month, it could have been in the last six months, it could have been in the last year, it could have been two years ago, three years ago, five years ago. At some point in time, it was somebody that you had to walk away from. Somebody that you know, may have not been showing you their true self, somebody that you had to get really, really in tune with your own inner guidance and choose to either walk away from this person or they may have walked away from you. That's a past energy. No need to be worried about that or alarmed about it. It's a life lesson. Maybe there was something in you to learn from that situation. Maybe not. Maybe it was just a difficulty that you, it was necessary for you to go through to prepare you for something else. Now, this is where things get utterly beautiful. This is coming up very soon. So we have the, the sun, the ace of wands, and the knight of swords. 
But that ace of wands right here at the very center of the whole entire spread, that would tell me that in the next year, there's going to be some periods of, of excitement, of happiness, of excitement, of creativity, of wonder, you know? Could be a new love and trust. Could be somebody you're very passionate about. We also see happiness with the sun. Like, how beautiful is that? Happiness on the love front. Happiness with whoever this new person is. And it could be this Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is Gemini and Taurus. So it could be this Knight of Swords person coming in pretty quick to communicate with you. Um, now, the Knight of Swords, because it is Gemini energy, this could be somebody that you meet off online. Um, it could be somebody that uh, you meet through some sort of app or something of that nature. Somebody you meet online, somebody you connect with at a distance because there seems to be a focus on travel and movement. Um, there's also a focus on, you know, when we look at Mercury, Mercury, uh, uh, Gemini is ruled by Mercury and Mercury and Gemini are over the third house, right? And so if we look at that, that standpoint of things and the third house being associated with technology and things of that nature, um, somehow technology is going to be involved with how you meet this person. So I like that. It looks good. Then we have an interesting energy. <laughs> so we have the moon, we have the four of cups, and we have the page of wands. Now with this four of cups, there could be there could be a period of time where you are just completely 100% apathetic about love. Like, I don't care about love whatsoever. Don't, don't bring love into my life. Just let me do my own thing. Let me stay in my little daydreamy world. Let me focus on other things. I don't really want to deal with love. And it's facing this ace of wands. So it could be that you get a little bit bored with this energy. Sometimes with the ace of wands, if the ace of wands is somebody new over and over again, new, new person, new person, new person, new person. You might get a little bit bored with that at some point. Now, that's going to kind of set you into this emotional turmoil a little bit here, okay? Because it's like, well, what does the future hold? What does the future hold? So that's going to make you feel a little bit uncomfortable in the future, okay? So as you're moving towards probably towards the middle of the year, maybe towards the latter half of the year, there's going to be that energy of... Oh gosh, you know what comes next? I'm not too sure about this. I'm not sure if I want to continue forward or not. But we have this page of wands energy. Something will create that sense of excitement in you again, that sense of adventure. And in fact, what I see coming next, because I just took I just took another six cards. What I see coming next as a result of that, as a result of you getting a sense of excitement and inspiration, right? I see a chariot moving forward. I see somebody coming in regarding love. So after, it's when you're like apathetic about it. Then we have the real love coming in. So this looks like it's probably going to be towards the end of the year. And I also see the nine of cups, which is fantastic, as well as the lovers. So it looks like the end of the year is going to be pretty good. The middle of the year is going to be kind of eh. And the beginning of the year, you're probably going to be focused on online connections. Um, signs that were represented are probably going to end up being all 12. So let me just note that. But as I told you about the Knight of Swords, we also have the Queen of Cups, um, which is Cancer and Gemini again. There's a lot of Gemini energy in here. Um as well as Pisces. There's some Pisces in here also. Um, what else is figuring prominently? Scorpio's figuring prominently as well. So all three water signs are showing prominently as well as Leo. So hopefully that helps. Love and light to you, Francisco. Happy holidays. All right, Jessica, current energies from the twin. Let me get these cards put away and we will be right on that.
Obviously, everybody, we're going a little bit longer than a standard mini read. <laughs> These are holiday, holiday giveaways. So I'm going with the energy. When the energy stops, it stops. If the energy keeps flowing, it's flowing. All right, current energies of Jessica's twin. Oh, wow. Okay, so your twin is very much in their head over leaving their current situation, it looks like. So let's talk, let's talk about what's going on on the mind level first, and then we'll look at everything else real quick, okay? Um, so we have the Tower and the Eight of Swords, right? The Tower in reverse, the Eight of Swords. And I, I feel that this is worry over leaving his current situation. And then we also have confusion associated with the Ten of Coins, which would also be that same sort of like, you know, do I leave, do I stay? If I leave, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen financially? If I stay, what's gonna happen financially? What's gonna happen, you know, in general? And then there's this energy of apathy associated with his own happiness. It's almost like he's come to the point where he's ready to throw his hands up in the air and just say, what will be, will be, right? Um, it's like apathy. Okay, but he doesn't like the slowness, so that's good, that's positive. High Priestess. He doesn't like holding back from you anymore. Um, I think that that's starting to get to him a little bit. Like he doesn't like the fact that he can't give to your connection that which he wants to, right? And so it may have caused this energy of, you know, I just really don't, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to deal with it kind of thing. Um, that high priestess though is, you know, the connection that the two of you have on a telepathic level is so strong that the connection you have communication wise um, doesn't do itself justice. And I think it's starting to frustrate your twin a little bit. It's starting to frustrate your twin. Let's see what's going on. And how they're feeling. How are they feeling about Jessica? How are they feeling about Jessica right now? Current energy. Oh my, those were a mess. Hold up, let me get these cards back in the deck. Jessica, Ten of Cups. We already knew that though, you know? So, um, I, I, I think he's, I think he's done fighting the connection, right? Done fighting the connection. I think he's gotten very clear on a heart level how he's feeling about you, right? We saw that Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. Um, regarding moving forward though, with the, with the Two of Coins in the reverse, I feel that he has made some sort of decision about what he wants to do. And we see that same decision showing up here with the lovers and the nine of coins. It's like, you know, wanting independence, wanting out of their situation right now and having a new beginning, so it's positive. But feeling that way on a heart level and acting on it are two different things. So let's see what his actions are going to be. What is he considering doing? He's, he's 
still confused. So I see him, I see him wanting to take action, wanting to come towards you, wanting to leave his other situation behind, right? Wanting to create something new with you, fantastic. Because why? Because, you know, there's this love here. However, we have the Wheel of Fortune. In most cases, I would say, okay, that's fantastic. That's wonderful. That's, that's fa fantabulous. The Kimmy word, right? Fantabulous. <laughs> However, we have this energy of the Three of Coins, Seven of Cups, and Six of Coins. It's like he's still really tormented about whether or not he wants to give to the twin connection. So I feel like it's possible he may be going through some complicated stuff right now, might be going through some financial woes based upon that six of coins that just showed. Uh, maybe not feeling super stable, maybe not feeling like he can open up and talk to you about whatever this is that's happening. But ultimately he wants to be with you, which is beautiful. The star. Yeah, I think he's going to need to go through another period, a period of his own internal healing. Um, there's definitely appears to be some sort of financial concern in general based upon the cards that are coming out. Um, and there's also a sense that I think, I think your twin has fought internally on, you know, what to do, what to do for so long that now he just needs a break from even considering it, like even considering what to do. Um, but what I'm seeing, Jessica, is I'm seeing, I'm seeing a man who loves you and he's conflicted. Um, loves you very dearly and is conflicted. So I think you're gonna need to give him some more space. Uh, we do have a ton of cops, at least take some solace in that and take some solace in the fact that what he wants and desires is to be with you. So give him a little bit more time, my love, all right? Love and light to you. Happy holidays. All right. Fusion. Best way to connect to your twin. Let's see. Best way for fusion to connect to the twin. spiritual perspective fusion first of all spirit is saying get your butt grounded <laughs> I think you've already been working on this but maybe you need to get out in nature a little bit maybe you need to connect to source in a different way because we also got divine source right maybe spirit is saying look you need to get out in nature you need to connect with nature you need to you need to Get in touch with that earth energy of yours, right? Because both you and your person are earth. You know, your twin is Virgo, your Taurus. So if you if you really seize that earth energy and connect to the earth energy, I feel like that's going to make a huge difference too, right? So interesting they, what they would give me next, because I don't believe we've ever discussed this with you on the channel, clairvoyance. Clairvoyance. I feel like spirit is trying to open up your clairvoyant senses. You know, whenever you get connected to a twin, a psychic gift opens up for each twin, right? Unless they're all open. <laughs> then spirit just bashes you with it a little bit. <laughs> From my perspective. Um, you know, so it's almost like, like spirit is trying to open up the psychic sense of clairvoyance for you. So pay attention to your daydreams, pay attention to the visions and things like that, that you see and that you have, that you experience, even though they may not be fully understandable at present, right? They're also saying replenish your energy. How? <laughs> what is she doing? She's getting out in nature. <laughs> 
Fusion, you need to be out in nature. Nature, nature, nature. Take some nature hikes, some walks. You know, get really in, in touch with that earth energy, all right? And divine nudges. Spirit's going to come and tell you to do something that's not going to make sense. And when spirit tells you to do something that doesn't make sense, you need to do it, right? Um, what's an example? An example, an example would be, um, you know, when... I had, I don't know when I, I don't know when I had put it in my phone. At some point in time in my phone, I felt very led to put in, you know, send my twin's name, right? Send my twin's name, a message that says I miss you, right? And so when it came up on my phone, that's what I did. And so it came up on my phone months later and I have no idea when I put it in there. But I would have only put it in there if I felt led to put it in there for a specific date. Um, and so it was one of those divine nudges that I couldn't quite explain, but I just did it anyway, right? So stuff like that, where you just, you follow source without, without any kind of, um, any kind of withholding, right? If spirit says, hey, once you go to Wawa, <laughs> Hang out with Bobby at Wawa. Maybe you're supposed to go hang out with Bobby at Wawa. You know, I mean, it's like something like that. When when you get a divine nudge that doesn't necessarily make sense, you do it anyway. Because it's in those moments that spirit is creating synchronicity, serendipity, right? It's in those moments that you hear something that somebody else is saying or you see something um, that you can't, you can't quite understand why it happens that way but it does right maybe you hear somebody talking you get a source of inspiration from it Let's see what other message do you have for fusion please regarding this twin connection all right there is another there is another party i do see another party two threes there's another party involved at present I know that we've had some questions as to whether or not there was for you. It does appear to be one. But that's also coming to an end. Wow. Wow. You have the Knight of Voices and the Justice card. You know, through communication, whether this is, you know, inspiration you receive off the air, the communication I was just talking about when you feel led to be somewhere, right? Through some form of communication, you're going to be transforming. You're going to be rising up out of, you know, a feeling of difficulty with your person. I see an overcoming of heartbreak. You haven't displayed any, so if that's you, I do see you overcoming that. If that's not you and that's your twin flame, then I see that they are coming out of a period of heartbreak. Once again, another three. I do feel there's a third party involved, absolutely. But I also see that coming to an end with the tower and the eight of swords. There's some fears and worries that are getting in the way here. Um, spirit, is, spirit is telling me right now, it looks like your twin, your twin actually may have experienced some massive insecurities with this person. Um, no, anxiety. I, got, I just got anxiety, some sort of anxiety with this person. And it looks like, you know, this particular connection coming to an end this person was necessary to help them work that out, right? We do have the Two of Cups and the Four of Swords. So that's that focus on the connection being a part and in separation. But Spirit is saying, hey, don't give up hope yet because there's love here between the two of you. Ten of Cups. Love here between the two of you. So I, th I think that, I think Spirit really needed to illuminate this third party situation and this groundedness. Um, connecting to source will be helpful. The eight of wands was immediately after that, as well as the world indicating a new cycle. 
a new cycle of some sort of internal movement and some sort of epiphany. The epiphany is going to come through the clairvoyance. So you need to work on your clairs. All right. I hope that was helpful. <laughs> I hope that was helpful. Love and light tea fusion. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. All right. The Empress. Twin flame. Let's see what's going on with D's twin flame. This is D Empress. D Gal is coming up after two more. Massive spirit chills on yours. So D, your twins awakened. That's, I got, I was looking at this. Okay, so we have the two of cups, okay? Now, um, you know I don't go to awakened twin with the two of cups, D. So clearly I got that from somewhere else, right? <laughs> I was looking at the card and I went, oh my goodness. Her twin is awakened because that's what spirit was giving me. This twin is awakened. And then out popped the four of wands. And, I sh and I'm getting spirit chills again now. I really feel like your twin has awakened to the connection. Now, does your twin understand that that's twin flame? I, I, you know, it's still hard to be seen or not easy to be seen, but they definitely are understanding there's something different about their connection to you, right? Something different. Maybe they think it's twin flame and they're afraid to say. I don't know if you've ever said twin flame. If not, don't mention it. Uh, that's for them to, to tell you, oh, by the way, <laughs> I know we're twins. <laughs> Sometimes you'll get that, that inner knowing on a psychic level, right? You'll, you'll feel it from them psychically that they know that you're twins. Oh, my. This person's going through quite the hellacious situation. Wow. All right. So your person is going through a massive struggle. Let me take a couple more cards. They've received some bad news. And whatever this bad news was, it has some, it has, it, yeah, they've received some bad news. Um, this bad news could have been financial, it could have been work related, it could have been anything. The tower, right? Eight of wands in the reverse. The three of swords with the knight of swords. Um, your twin has received some bad news. I don't think they want to share it with you. Whatever it is, it's so private to them that it's not something they want to burden you with, okay? which is hard because as a twin, you'll feel it from them, right? You'll feel them going through something difficult. You'll feel the struggle, um, but they, they can't express it. They can't talk to you about it fully yet, okay? So what I have here with the five of wands, the strength card and the seven of coins. Five of wands is the internal struggle from whatever, whatever kind of bad news they've received, okay? With the strength card and the seven of coins, I feel that you bring them a sense of peace and a sense of contentment, but there's this, there's a waiting energy. Now the seven of coins comes up as a waiting energy when there's something big they're waiting on, right? Well, notice this energy surrounding them. It's, they're going through a hellacious time. The devil, the five of swords, the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. This is like massive people problems. Massive people problems. Um, and, you know, the devil's toxic, obviously. I don't need to say anything about that. That's pretty obvious, right? Five of Swords, you know, uh, 
victory at a price. Ten of wands, burdens, burdens, burdens. Eight of swords, fears, seven of wands, holding his ground. Your twin is dealing with people problems. And it's people problems that are not only manipulative and throwing junk on top of him, but it's people problems that people are telling him what to do. It's not a good place for a twin flame masculine to be. They like to stand on their own, right? They don't need that, that person, uh, those other people behind them. And then here's this energy of the devil. That could be addiction, so you gotta be aware of that. There could be some sort of addiction that you're not aware of. If that's not the case, they could just be dealing with a manipulative person. These particular cards show me somebody manipulative. Could be multiple people. Now, with the Eight of Swords, unfortunately, all of this energy of everything they're struggling with is causing an extra sense of, of you know, internal, um, we always talk about fears. Fears, anxiety, you know, an inability to feel stable. And then here the, the, with the Seven of Wands, it's like they're having to defend their actions. They're having to defend their choices. They're having to defend their movements. You know, what comes next? Okay. Ultimately, you're heading towards reunion. Because our final card, I just did a pyramid, a pyramid, um, pyramid tarot spread for you, okay? And our final card is reunion. So ultimately, you're headed towards reunion. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of, Nine of Cups. It's a beautiful energy. You're heading towards that. So that's beautiful. And uh, I feel that internally, there's this energy of, okay, well, let me fix this with my twin. Let me, let me figure out how to move forward towards my twin. But yet, he has to get himself away from the energy that's the numerous people that are throwing junk onto him, right? That are making him feel this sense of instability. I feel like he's having to give somebody money. Um, there's some sort of external support, some sort of external help he's having to give. But we do see that the chariot is gonna roll and it's gonna roll towards you in the near future. There could be a focus on family. Family could be um, an issue here. We do have the Seven of Cups, which is a little bit of, you know, not knowing how to move forward. But I feel like everything's everything's going to clear its way for you. It's going to take time, though. This is, a, this is a big thing. This is a big thing your twin's dealing with. But I think the most important factor here, D, is this. The Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. And the Three of Cups. You know? All right. Um, it looks like there's gonna be some more movement between the two of you that's gonna be a little bit more clear during the time of Pisces. Uh, I've got three cards came up that are associated with Pisces and one that's associated with uh, Aquarius. So it looks like we're looking at the first 20 days of Pisces. So between February 20th and March the 12th there'll be some stronger movement and some clearer understanding for you. All right. Good luck to you, my dear. Love and light to you. Don't you worry about it. This person loves you. Okie dokie. Next up is Claudia. 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 We can talk some about um, developing the Claire's tomorrow night. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about that, but let me see what spirit has for you from our mediumship cards. All right. strong focus on telepathy telepathy all 
right. So there's a strong focus on stilling the mind, right? Obviously, clairvoyance down at the bottom. That one's easy. <laughs> we already know you're clairvoyant, right? So clairvoyant. Let's see what else it says on here that might help. Okay, a great way to train and sharpen your clairvoyant ability is to listen to guided meditations using visualization techniques. You're already doing that. <laughs> You're doing that up here on the channel. <laughs> they take you on beautiful journeys in your mind's eye. All right, uh, spend time outside. Yep, yep, yep. Notice, try to notice things around you. Yep, 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 you already know that. Nothing else new there, okay. So, Claudia, look, telepathy, third eye to third eye. So, you know, I know you haven't met your twin yet, but perhaps focusing on the telepathy between you and your twin, um, because that's already strong, may actually help spark and open up your clairvoyant senses a little bit more, as well as your clear knowing, things of that nature. Um, you know, you can also, you can also work on that kind of energy when you're out and about, <laughs> you know, um, like if you're trying to transmit, right, you're trying to transmit a telepathic energy, let's say you're at a restaurant or something like that. And you know, you're wanting your waitress to understand that you're out of water because they haven't like come by in a while, right? Focus on transmitting, you know, the imagery of your wager is bringing you water and see how long it takes and try to lessen those time frames. you know, working on thought power from that perspective. Um, that's just one way to use that. And as a Scorpio, that will be fun for you. <laughs> so we have creating sacred space. We've already talked about that, you know, creating your own space in your home, clearing the energy, that sort of thing. Um, they also have finding, finding the stillness. Now, this is that stillness of the mind to be able to hear spirit. And sometimes that's very hard to get to that point. Sometimes it's very hard to actually release the thoughts and, and, and the struggles of the day, right? That's why I use that 10,000 Hertz um, meditation from Love Motives. Perhaps that might help. It kind of stills the mind pretty strongly. And then once again, we have mind focus, but everything keeps pointing to the third eye for you. We have, we had the clairvoyance and we have both of these focusing on the third eye. So, and then the, st the finding the stillness of the mind. So there seems to be a strong focus from steer from spirit on working on your mind control, right? Your mind control for yourself to be able to connect stronger to your clairs. Um, practice patience indicates you need to be patient with yourself. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, happening in a relatively quick way, but be patient with yourself about that and replenish your energy, which you're going to be doing tomorrow. So <laughs> nothing more I can tell you about that. Let me take you a couple tarot cards. Yourself, honey I know you do believe in yourself but we have the magician in reverse which says that there's something that you don't fully believe you believe in yourself about with regards to your uh, your clairs right Pre be brave be bold just came out with this with the strength card hermit stillness of the mind again Two of emotions, that's that connection to your twin like I was talking about earlier. All right. So there's a strong focus on the cards that came out. Um, there's a strong focus for me on epiphany moments. And they're just being one little thing that needs to be tweaked, right? One little thing that needs to be changed. Um, if we look at the three of inspiration and we see the dominoes falling, right? There's just one domino missing to keep everything rolling, to keep the ball rolling. I feel like that one thing that's missing is you believing in yourself in one thing. So only you will know what that is. There's something that maybe you're questioning your intuition on. You need to be a little bit more trusting of your intuitive guidance, right? 
And then we have this strong focus here on this connection with another, this divine connection, right? This divine connection between you and another can really spark and help move your Claire's forward. And that's very likely your twin because that comes from twin flame union, as I was telling Fusion a few minutes ago. And then we have this energy of you needing to be alone. We have this fighting off, you know, external energies, right? In order to gain that epiphany, in order to gain that extra little ounce. And then notice we have the same thing here. So there's a strong focus on you needing to have alone time in order to connect to that, that, you know, that strong mind, that strong will of your mind, as well as to connect to, um, to get more in touch with your intuitive abilities. It all seems to be focused on mind control, mind stillness, mind, you know, your thoughts, keep your thoughts positive, things of that nature. Everything seems to be focused on your thoughts. So that's what I have for you, my dear. Love and light to you, Miss Claudia. Happy holidays, my dear. All right. Anna. We have Anna, D, Mary Lou, Jenna, and Jaya. All right. I think I'm going to have to take a brief break, Anna. Um, and I will be, because I'm going longer on these. <laughs> so I will connect the next video as soon as I get back. But I need a brief moment. All right. Love and light to you. All right. I am back for you. It was only a couple seconds. <laughs> All right. This is for Anna. Anna, you want to know what is holding you back and what to improve on. So let's take a look at our good tarot for you. Let's see what we get. got the eight of earth the queen of fire the ten of fire call the page of earth and the fool oh my goodness this is beautiful all right let's see so first of all, the message I get from this particular card, if you notice there's a violin representing a tree, right? And we have these little fey beings down there, little fairies. And um, there's a focus to me on the fact that what I was getting from the card as it came out, Anna, is that perhaps you're not experiencing the joy of life, right? I mean, maybe it feels like you are but that there's something so much more beautiful trying to come forth from within you, right? Maybe there's some sort of creative endeavor that you're being guided to do or that you're being guided to pursue. There may be, there may be some, something associated with, it could be music, it could be art, it could be just creating something in general, but there's a focus on the fact that your stability will come from pursuing some sort of creative endeavor. And, you know, and, and with the fairies there, it's saying, you know, believe in the impossible, believe in the unusual as well, right? Believe in that which can't be explained. So we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is about confidence, inner confidence, right? She's very strong. She's very, very capable of taking action and moving forward in her life. In this particular in this particular deck, she stands here showing her strength despite the fact that she holds her hand in her heart, right? Despite the fact that she's allowing people to see how she's feeling, the things that she's going through in life. Maybe you wear your heart on your sleeve, Anna, and that's a perfectly strong thing to be doing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, um, but they're saying, Spirit is saying there is strength in that. There is strength in being able to express how you feel. Now we have the Eight of Wands came out associated with the Queen of Fire. And so I believe that 
that there's some sort of communicate. Ooh, this definitely, yeah. See, notice, notice the tracks here and here match. Like the seven of wands matches with the eight of wands. There's a focus on the fact that maybe you've been waiting on some sort of communication. Now that could be communication about a new job. It could be the communication from a loved one. It could be, you know, any sort of news, but there's some sort of news you've been waiting on. And I feel that the spirit is saying, you know, don't, don't sit around and wait on this news. Find that sense of inspiration, find that sense of creativity and pursue that creative endeavor with, with all gusto, right? Got a really strong message from the next particular card. Notice how this woman is burning these letters, right? Burning, burning the letters. There's something you haven't let go of yet. I'm not saying it's an item, you know, it's probably not a letter per se, but there's some sort of hurt, some sort of wound, some sort of burden that you haven't released, you haven't let go of. And spirit is encouraging you to take some steps to try to heal from whatever this is and to release it off into the wind, off into the, off into, you know, the, <laughs> release it to spirit is what I'm trying to say. Let it go, whatever it is. Could be romantic in nature, could be family in nature. Oh, look at that. There's the queen of wands again. What a focus. Focus on your strength. Love it. All right, looks like it might've been something that happened between you and another individual. Whatever this is that you're still holding on to, it looks like you need to bring peace to the situation and, and bringing peace to it may just very simply be writing a letter and then burning the letter. You know, safely burning the letter. <laughs> Don't burn it in your apartment, you know, or, your, or in your home you know, safely release yourself from that energy. Now, something is coming up very, very soon. And it may be that you have already received a sense of inspiration about this, because we have call, this is a spirit call. And so I feel that, that, and it's right underneath this beautiful creative energy. So I feel like spirit has been trying to show you some sort of creative endeavor, some sort of direction that they want you to go in, that they want to inspire you to do. Whatever this is that they're trying to inspire you about, it looks like there's a strong need for you to follow that call. Ooh, spiritual growth. What is it you're wanting to learn about? Spiritual growth. Perhaps there's, perhaps there's a particular topic that you're wanting to learn about that's spiritual in nature. And spirituality can involve, you know, any number of religious beliefs or non-religious beliefs that are, you know, based upon um, science and energy and things of that nature. Um, whatever this is that you're feeling that call to learn, Spirit is saying, do that. Do that. You need that. <laughs> you need that. And look, look at this beautiful, uh, here we go. We've got, you know, a, a magical being again with the page of earth. The page of earth is that news of the new opportunity if we're looking at a page of coins, right? But in this particular deck, I feel that spirit is saying, find joy in the little things, find joy in the magical little things. Like there's something, it's, you may be focusing too much on something that hasn't happened or something that happened that was um, uncomfortable in your life. And Spirit is saying it's time to focus on little things that make you happy. Small things that make you happy. That could be, the, you know, the, the littlest of things like buying, buying yourself a chocolate bar. <laughs> or, you know, running a hot bubble bath to kind of ground yourself and release some negative energy. Oh my goodness. So here's our King of Wands. Here's our Queen of Wands. Here's our King of Wands. The King of Wands is coming from this page of Earth. I feel that, you know, Anna, if you already are, if you're married or in a long-term relationship, um, focusing on the little things and the exciting little things will help spruce, you know, spruce up the spark within that relationship. 
Um, if you're not currently in a relationship, we have somebody new coming in as a result of that energy with the star and the ace of cups. But it requires you to take joy in the simplest of, of pleasures in life, right? The simplest of things. Because in that, it looks like that's going to give you that sense of adventure, that sense of excitement. And this person is coming as a result of those changes that will occur within you. So it's really good. Unless you've already got someone, then it's sparking that relationship. And my dear, this couldn't be any more clear. And the fool. We have two fool cards. One is an ethereal being, some sort of spirit form, doing what? Calling you with the trumpet, calling you to take a leap of faith. Calling you to take the leap of faith. There's a new opportunity that's about to show up. Maybe they've already presented it to you, Anna. If not, it's coming very soon. And when it comes, you're gonna recognize it's Spirit's calling for you to take that leap of faith. And Spirit's wanting you to do just that. Um, so that's what I have for you, Anna. Hopefully that helps. And I wish you well. Love and light to you, my dear. Happy holidays. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of the week. D gal. D gal. Our second D. The third D will be receiving email from me later this week. the duck I want to use for you. All right, T gal. What's coming in for love in the near future for D, please? Love in the future. For D gal, please. What's coming up for love for D? All right, so far I've got the five of wands, the world, the six of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, seven of pentacles, the moon. Oh my goodness. A lot of internal energy for you. Who are you waiting on? Who are you waiting on? Are you waiting on a specific person? Or are you just waiting on movement in general? Because I, I have this waiting energy. Wow. They do not want to show me love. All right, let's talk about what I see coming up for you in the near future. And then I'm gonna try taking a couple more cards and see if they give me love. They're not giving me love. They're giving me a life lesson, the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Five of Wands. Let me show you the cards and then I'm gonna read them, okay? Five of Wands, the world, the Six of Coins. The Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Moon. Judgment in the reverse, justice, and the two of coins. So this, it feels like you are going through a trial period in your life. And it seems all internal. There's, with the seven of pentacles, there's this waiting energy, right? You put in all this work and it's like, where's love? You know what I mean? So it looks like, it's kind of like, I put in all this work spirit, where's, where's my person? Because I see with the justice card, you you know, things are starting are going to start to go your way. With the world, you have a new opportunity. You know, the world is all available to you. And with the judgment card in reverse, the eight of pentacles and the five of wands, you've gone through an internal struggle. You put in all the work that you need to put in on you. 
and you made a decision. You may have made a decision to leave somebody in the past. You may have made a decision to move forward with your life, to, to try something new. You could have, you could have left a, um, a marriage or a relationship, something of that nature. But it's like now you're ready for something fresh. You're ready for something new. And Spirit's going, oop, hold up. <laughs> you didn't learn the lesson yet. Even though it feels like you did. Because you put in all that work on yourself, right? It's like, Spirit, what more can there be? I've been there. I've been there. Totally, D. Like, I've been there. Where it's like, I'm feeling fine. Everything is going good. I don't understand what else is there for me to learn. And that is when Spirit plops in and makes some changes that you kind of don't expect. So what I see from there, with the six of, six of coins, the two of coins, and the moon, six of coins, you know, is, is that energy of reciprocity. But to me, in this particular card, it almost looks like spirit is giving you the sustenance that you need for right now, right? spirit's going here's a little morsel here's a little breadcrumb this is what you need for right now because there's still a lack of balance there's still something that needs to be adjusted there's still something that needs to be worked on and with the moon card you may be feeling pretty emotional about this so what needs to be worked on what does do you need to work on oh All right, so D, if you are married, everything's going to be fine. If you're not married, everything's going to be fine. <laughs> All right. All right, my dear, there is somebody here. And it looks like it's somebody, somebody from the past. So if you want the past, great. If you don't, there's still somebody from the past showing up. Now here's what spirit gave me for you to work on. And it's so beautiful. It's really beautiful. And sometimes we don't recognize we're in this state where we feel like we're out of balance. Sometimes we don't recognize that when we put so much work and effort into ourselves and, and into feeling a sense of, of inner peace and harmony, right? Trying to get out of this depth of deep, deep, dark emotions, right? Well, spirit is saying, wait, there's just one more thing, D. There's just one more thing. <laughs> Queen of Wands energy, self-confidence, strength and self-confidence. But look at how joyful she is. She's just having a good old time. She's loving life. She's just feeling so content, so happy. Because there's a focus on what makes her happy, right? It's a focus on what makes her feel excited and what makes her feel joyful. Just like I was just talking to Anna. If you watch back and watch back to Anna's, maybe there's something you might get from that. So there's this focus on, you know, what makes you happy, what makes you feel strong, what makes you feel content. And then there's this focus on your own internal, internal stability, right? And with the Page of Swords, I feel like you hear exactly what you need to hear. And what is that? What is that? That love is coming. But only once you gain your self-confidence back. There's a strong focus on the color yellow. And with self-confidence, self-esteem, we'd be looking at the solar plexus chakra. So I strongly advise you to do some solar plexus chakra work. Um, definitely a must have, okay? Solar plexus chakra work. Now, here's where the person's coming in. So we have the six of cups. I believe that's somebody from the past. Somebody that, you know, may have been on your mind. Somebody's coming back around. Here's the communication that's going to be coming in and the brand new beginning but you cannot have this new beginning in love until you work on the self-confidence factor, until you work on your inner strength. So that's the only thing missing. Everything else you've done fantastic on, everything else you, you've come to a point of overcoming, the only thing that's out of balance is your self-confidence, your self-esteem. So maybe you're holding on to you know something um, that may have been said or done in the past by someone else. Um, may I recommend plastering your mirror with a whole bunch of positive affirmations. It's really wonderful. <laughs> it helps. Um, but also some solar plexus chakra work may help as well. We are doing group Reiki tomorrow night, Tuesday night, if that's of interest to you. If not, no worries. I'm not offended. 
um, but do be sure to at least listen to some Love Motives um, binaural beats on the solar plexus chakra, all right? Love and light to you, my dear. Have an absolutely beautiful day, and I'll see you again soon. Happy holidays. All right, Mary Lou. Twin flame. What's going on with her twin flame? All right, Mary Lou, let's see what's going on with your twin flame. Five of coins, that's that, that's that energy of separation. The moon, queen of cups. All right. All right, so this twin flame is actually coming towards you soon, but right now they're waiting. So what I'm seeing is I'm seeing this energy of separation, right? And this energy of confusion, confusion. I'm getting strong spirit chills on that. Confusion, confusion, confusion about how, how somebody's feeling. That could be you. That could be you feeling confused, not knowing what this person's feeling, right? It could also be confusion about what happens in the future with that moon card. Being all emotional. So... Your, your twin flame is thinking about some aspect of their life they're having to get get a handle on. Seems to be financial in nature or, or related to their career with the eight of coins and the three of wands. They're taking some time. They're, they're moving very, very slowly, but they are thinking about coming towards you with that chariot, which is positive. Very positive. Oh, and look at that. Ace of coins. Yeah, they're they're looking at potentially coming towards you. All right. How are they feeling about Mary Lou right now, please? So I'm not sure what they did, but this person is wanting to apologize for something. Um, they don't feel they don't feel brave enough for, for some reason. They're feeling a, a lack of ability to move forward for some reason, and, and it may be because of something that's happened in the past between the two of you. Uh, with that, with the page of coins, I do feel that they are coming to, um, they're coming to a point where they want to express themselves. Why? Because there's love here between you. But you know, ten of cups, we always see that with the with the twin flames. You know, there's always love between twin flames. Ooh. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Your person's letting go of some sort of self-delusion about the connection. Self-delusion about twin flame union. That's happening on a heart level. So spirit may be bringing them to an awareness of the connection, right? An awareness of the spiritual aspect of the connection. But they're still struggling with something, you know, in, in the thoughts in their thoughts regarding the connection. All right. Well, wow, cards are flying all of a sudden. With regards to taking any action towards you, there's this, there's this real strong anxiety because the cards are flying. Now that could be your anxiety because I do pick up on fit future energy. So if you're feeling a little bit of anxiety, just take a deep breath. Um, but I, I feel like it's very likely theirs. Yeah. So right now they're not feeling strong enough to communicate, okay? With the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the um, Star in Reverse, and the Two of Wands in Reverse, you know, I feel like they've decided on whether or not they're going to take action, and that's a no right now. That's a no at the present moment. Um, but with the star in reverse, I do feel that there's some healing that needs to occur between the two of you um, as a result of something that was said or done in the past based upon some of these cards that are coming out. Now, they're going through an internal struggle about their independence, their freedom. There's something about the connection that makes them feel like they, they've lost their sense of freedom and independence. 
Um, and so I don't see them coming forward to communicate at present. I think the important thing to note is what's going on on a heart level. What spirit's working them through is this, you know, self-delusion about how they they didn't feel anything for you in the past, but now there's this, oh yeah, actually I do, right? And so there's this focus on um, an awakening to the connection that seems to be led by spirit. All right. So you're going to have to give them some space for right now. With the Queen of Wands and the Page of Cups in the reverse, Page of Cups in the reverse is a very, very, very um, uh, immature energy. That's the word I'm looking for. Very immature. So this person's going to need some extra space. Spirit's working on them and that's the most important thing for you to remember right now. The best thing for you to do at present is for you to, you know, give the gift of space and time. I know that sounds really hard. Um, and, and the fact that I'm calling it a gift, especially with twin flames, you know, there's that strong sense of ten, twin flame disconnection, right? So even when you do have contact with them, sometimes the energy can be overwhelming. The two of you are at a stage where the energy hasn't quite leveled out yet. The two of you are at a, are at a stage where the energy is too, it's too out of balance. And so in order for you to work on the twin flame connection and bringing the two of you to union, you have to work on your own energy. And that's going to involve, you know, looking at your triggers, releasing them, kind of going back deep, figuring out, you know, why you might have been triggered by them in the past, that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, oftentimes divine feminines deal with abandonment issues. And so, you know, it might be good to take a look and see if there's any abandonment issues that are kind of rising up to the surface right now, especially with the holidays. Um, you know, and divine feminines, uh, struggle with a wide variety of things. Every, every twin union is different, but one thing that seems to be, um, pretty steady is I often see strong abandonment issues with divine feminine. So I take a look and see if there's anything there first. Um, it's just a starting point, but it looks like spiritual growth and, and inner balance is going to be important for you because it'll help balance your twin out because your twin will come forward, but your twin will also back away with that kind of frenzied energy that I was feeling. Okay. So that would be my advice to you, my dear love and light to you. And I shall see you again soon. Happy holidays. Jenna, Twin Flame check-in. <laughs> knock, 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 knock. All right. Jenna, Twin Flame check-in. come out and then it went back in seven of coins maybe maybe you're struggling do I continue to wait do I not wait do I release my twin let me just tell you you can try releasing your twin and then you'll discover your twin's name everywhere <laughs> you'll discover things that remind you of them everywhere <laughs> so good luck with that <laughs> all right Twin flame check in. Tell me how the, the divine masculine, I'm assuming, is thinking. Ooh. All right, so the cards that came up for you, and forgive me if this is wrong, but let me just note, it might be an internal thought, right? It's almost like, so that seven of coins is going in and out, in and out, in and out. And then here's the six of coins. It just lightly flew upon it, right? So I'm feeling from, from what just happened with these cards. And if it's wrong, that's perfectly okay. Throw it out. But I'm feeling that perhaps there's this internal energy for you that's not been expressed. But it's kind of like, uh, you know, because this was... Yeah, maybe I'll give up. No, I'm not giving up. Yeah, maybe I'll give up. No, I'm not, I'm not giving up. 
it's almost a sense of, if they don't hurry up and do something soon, I'm giving up. Because you, you might be sick of waiting for some sort of movement here, right? So, let me know, Jenna, you got the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> And when the Wheel of Fortune occurs, it's outside of our control. Go figure, right? So what is your twin thinking about you? Interesting, you came up as the Empress. I'd like to know if on a heart level, that you, you come up or they come up as the Emperor. Because if so, then that means that there's been an awakening. But regardless, this is you standing out from all the rest. You being the one that is it, every other woman is compared to, right? you being that grand old empress. And we see that your person is trying to figure out what do I do about this connection? Now I like this combination because it, it could mean that they're wanting a brand new fresh start with you, right? But they got something they can't let go of in their head. Something, something they can't let go of with the ton of swords in reverse and the eight of swords. There's a big old whammy fear that's like getting in the way for this particular twin. Yet, I feel like spirit is calling them to you. So we have judgment and we have the Knight of Coins. They all, and the Wheel of Fortune, it all came out together. I feel like this is spirit saying, all right, twin, you know, Jenna's twin, you can't stay slow any longer. It's time to pick up the pace. It's time to get moving. It's almost like your twin is being inundated with signs, symbols, things like that to like draw them to you. Like, there's this focus on a new beginning, but it's spirit-driven. Maybe they're going, why in the world does this keep happening? Maybe that's what this Ten of Swords is. Why does this keep happening? Why can't I let her go kind of thing, you know? Wow. <laughs> so I don't know if your person is in another relationship. If so, I see that coming to an end. If not, there's definitely going to be some sort of change in movement here, right? You know, often divine masculines end up in another, uh, in a karmic connection to learn a life lesson before there's union. So if there is another person, it's coming to an end soon, okay? On heart level, I gotta tell you, this person wants to come forward and express their truth to you. They really want to talk. They want to have a chat. They want to open up. But they're also, you know, not only are they trying to move forward, they feel a little bit inadequate about doing so. However, they see the two of you as this, this perfect match when it comes to thoughts and intellect and communication like they can talk to you about anything this person is very likely opened up to you about things they've never said anything to anybody else before in their entire life you know things that they probably would never ever express but yet with you they feel safe and communicating honestly so that's beautiful Okay, so ultimately I don't, I do see them, you know, reaching out and communicating. Ace of, Ace of Swords and Knight of Swords. So I'm not sure if you're already in communication with this person or not. If so, there'll be more. If not, this person strongly considering reaching out. Why? Because of the connection. Because of the connection. It's beautiful. It's fabulous. But ultimately it's like they don't know their way forward to do that. Um, I do see them trying to figure it out. They're putting a lot of effort and time into trying to figure out how to communicate with you. How to communicate exactly what they're feeling, exactly what they want, exactly what they've been going through. And I feel that this person is wanting to tell you some of the things that they have seen that, that keep driving them back to you. But I think there's some fear in doing that. It's kind of like, well, if I open up and tell her this, is she gonna run away from me now, right? And so like, there's kind of like this energy of, I want to express, not sure how to go about doing it. But look, six of wands, six of wands, they will come forward. They will come forward at some point here. And 
when they do, I think both of you are gonna feel on top of the world. We just wanna make sure that they're not, they're not running from that point, look. Remember I said if I got that emperor again, um, with regards to, you know, the twins' heart and desires that they are very likely awakened to the connection. I believe there's there's going to be that awakening very soon. Very soon. And that's when things will start to change internally for them. So it's looking good, Jenna. Whatever you've been doing to help the Twin Flame Union to move forward, keep doing it. It looks like it's working very well. All right, love and light to you. Happy holidays. All right, dragon. What does spirit want you to know? Let's find out. All right. Who are you needing to communicate with? <laughs> like right off the bat, Dragon Emperor, you got the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is rushing to communicate something. Um, could be could be your person's coming towards you, but I don't know. I'm feeling like that's you. Um, King of Pentacles. It seems to have, have something to do with work or stability. So whatever this communication is, I don't believe, if you're dealing with a twin, I don't believe it's the twin. I believe this is your own stability. Um, could be work related. It could be something to resolve with a father figure. Also, that King of Pentacles is saying, don't give up, right? So just focus on career again. Strong focus on work. So I don't know if you're currently uh, in a job or not in a job. Um, with 2020, a lot of people have lost jobs. So I don't presume that everybody is, is working. So if you're not working, that Knight of Swords could mean, you know, you you may be receiving news of an offer very soon. Um, if, if that's not the case and you're currently working, it looks like you're going to need to put in some sort of extra effort because your duties are about to increase and your stability is gain, getting stronger. Um, you're very apathetic about career though. It's like career is like not forefront of your mind. Yeah, the spirits keep driving me back to career for you. All right. <laughs> Eight of Wands. All right. Three more, please. Okay, so th some things are about to change for you. Let me show you, we got kind of a tough energy and I'm not sure what you're going through. You don't need to elaborate, but we have the devil, the 10 of wands, some sort of difficult struggle, right? A difficult struggle, internal struggle, external struggle, etc. You know, problems from other people. I see, I see karmic justice coming and quite shockingly actually. So this seems to be something very positive, very good. Now, Spirit is making it very clear that your focus has not been on work. It's not been on either finding work or perfecting your work, um, you know, climbing the ladder, whatever the case may be. Your focus has not been on that in the way it should. Now, if you've been focused on it, that's fine. But it's like Spirit is wanting you to get really, 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 really strongly connected to achievement, to feeling a sense of financial independence and stability. So for some reason, there's a strong focus on this for you. So much so that in the love cards, it came out yet again with the nine of coins. So there's some sort of tie to finances and career to your love life. So it's like they're tied together in some way whether you are currently married in a long-term relationship or separated from somebody or at a distance from somebody that you love, there's a tie between you and somebody you care about and your career. So spirit is saying, okay, 
time to get a little bit more engaged in your career. This could be that, you know, maybe you need to learn a new skill. Maybe you need to focus on, um, you know, acquiring a new talent, something of that nature, something that's going to inspire you because right now you have apathy and a lack of desire to move forward. This Knight of Swords indicates there's some sort of communication coming in on the work front, on the work front. Like I said, it could be a job offer, could just very simply be somebody has taken notice of the good work you've already been doing. You know, whatever this, this news is that comes in with that Knight of Swords, it's gonna be positive. I see it looks really good, okay? Looks really good. Now on the love front, looks like you've done some work on yourself because I see heartbreak, but I see heartbreak that you've overcome. So good job, good job, long distance fist bump, well done, uh, very, very good. Now there is, there's, there's a woman here in your life. <laughs> there's a woman here in your life that means more to you than you express. With the nine of cups, there's a great deal of love here that you have for this person and there's a focus on this individual. Um, something about this individual just sort of like, you know, makes your heart grow, makes you feel a sense of contentment. Um, you know, there's just, there's this overall glow about you when you talk about this person likely. So whomever this is, it's possible that the two of you have an energetic connection. You may be working on that energetic connection. Um, immediately after that, we do have success with that nine of coins strong independent cards. So you really don't feel like you're currently married to this person or dating them, but we have a sense of success. Like I said, your, your financial success is tied to your career in some way. You being successful in your, in your career seems to also, maybe it increases your confidence or it increases the energy that you're putting out into the universe, it makes it very positive, very possible that that's the case. And when, when that happens, then we have this beautiful communication coming in. Um, beautiful communication coming in. But we also have a Seven of Swords energy. And I'd like to take a, a quick little look, see at that Seven of Swords. You might have to cut somebody out of your life with that Seven of Swords. If not, cut them out. Just be aware of somebody maybe not having your back. Let's see what that is. No. It's you walking away from a thought process. So it's you releasing something from your mind and getting really, 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 really clear on what you want out of your love life. So we have two strong things happening here, but ultimately you have a new beginning coming. And it's coming as a result of success in career, success in work, which increases your confidence on the love front and then we have the Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning all the way around. I like to call it that big Christmas gift from the universe, right? That Ace of Pentacles. Only your Christmas gift from the universe is going to be a little delayed. So <laughs> it'll be past the holiday. Um, so, you know, I think, I think Dragon, the important thing for you to focus strongly on is career. Because, you know, this person's not going anywhere. They're just sitting here, right? So... Even if you're separated from this person right now, the energy between the two of you is still loving, it's still kind, it's still there. Um, and there is going to be some sort of communication in the future, in the near future. Let me see if I can get timing on that, okay? Strong, strong career tie there. I'm not sure why. Maybe you worked with this person at one point in time, perhaps? Um... Maybe that's why there's a career tie. Maybe the two of you worked together. You met them while you were working. I don't know. Timing on the communication coming in, please. Timing on the communication coming in. All right, so Dragon, I don't remember what I don't remember what the context was of the reading. And I'm not sure if that was today or if this is the reading for tomorrow. There's a reading, there's a daily reading where this King of Pentacles just kept coming out, kept coming out. 
Um, there may be some solid information in there for you regarding your situation. Just keep in mind it is a general reading, so not all of it will resonate with you, but there may be something important for you in that particular reading, okay? Um, so I'm seeing within the next seven months, that's a long way to wait, at least the next seven to eight months. Let's see, anything else? What about that Ace of Pentacles? When is that coming about? When is that Ace of Pentacles coming about? Time of Virgo. So we are looking at August, September. Um, so that tells me that very likely, very likely you think that your love interest may be a twin flame, because if there's a long period of time there, it's probably twin flame related. Um, but the the focus on your career and the success that's going to come from that, it looks like it's going to be August or September of next year. So there may be something that you have to learn at school, or there may be something that you know you you have to perfect between now and then. Um, but that looks really, really positive. So try to stay positive despite the long wait, okay? Good luck to you, Dragon. All right, everybody. Love and light to you. Happy holidays, no matter what holiday you celebrate. If you don't celebrate holidays, I hope you have a wonderful day anyway. And uh, everybody, love and light to you. Big hug from Kimmy. Kiss, kiss. Mwah. Bye. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.